Hi, this is Celeste Waste Kentucky Home, and today we're going to make our own cliff bars. I hope you guys could see me in that picture because I'm taping for myself on my phone. Okay, so what we used to eat were these guys. They're very expensive. They're individually packed. They are not less waste. That's not good. Can't have that anymore. They're also, like I already said, very expensive. We are currently spending $55 in brand name Cliff Bars a month. That's a freaking a lot. That's including when we sometimes get them on the $10 for 11 sale. 10 for 11? 11 for 10? I don't know. We get 11 of them for $10, okay? At Meyer um, Grocery. And they're still about $55 for us. Um, that's a lot. So. Um, I got this recipe book called The Feed Zone, um, and it shows how to make your own chocolate, peanut butter, coconut, rice cakes, as well as several other, they call them portables, for your home. And you wrap them up in these, but we won't be doing that because that's very wasteful. But you could, if you were so inclined. There is... Um, oh, okay. I don't know where it is. But the idea is that you would tear away that foil wrapping and then it's very convenient to eat when you're on your bicycle because I'm a cyclist and that's how I found this book. Um, so this is the price breakdown because I couldn't remember it and I don't like to read from notes. Um, so the rice was $3 a bag because we got the expensive kind. Um, not knowing if we would use a large bag, but it turns out I think we will because I like this recipe. And I use the rice and other things. Um, so the rice is three dollars a bag, and I used about a dollar's worth. Um, I think the price will get lower for this recipe as we buy the rice in larger quantities. You have to use jasmine rice so that it sticks together. Um, the chocolate chips were six dollars for the big bag, um, but it was actually free to us because I bought it with work money because I was compensated because I often cook for work. Um, for our meetings on Fridays, but if I were to purchase this myself, it was six dollars for the big bag and I used 60 cents worth So presumably I'll buy chocolate chips in the future and this is what they would cost. So I included that cost um, It's half a cup of seeds. The tub is five dollars The seeds look like this. Unfortunately, they're in plastic, but the whole container is recyclable I, Except maybe that sticker could remove the sticker um, and the sticker on the top, but the rest of the container is recyclable, as well as the other guy there. Um, so I toasted the seeds and used about 30 cents worth after we did some math breakdown. Two tablespoons of brown sugar, four cents. Homemade maple syrup from my cousin's trees in Minnesota, which is um, tapped trees. And a tablespoon of salt, which I figured to be about three cents or so. I'll admit I didn't actually do the math on that, but it's an estimate. It's a large container. Works out to be $2 for 10 bars, um, whereas previously you'll see I was doing $55 for the month. So the breakdown for the month is $2 for the week for 10 or $8 for the month. If you throw in an extra 10 for the month, 10 bars for the month, then that's a total of $40 or sorry, $10 for the month for 40 bars. So $10 for the cost for the whole month, whereas previously I was spending $55. So that's a huge savings. Um, so you cook the rice separately and then it comes together in a blender or a food processor, everything but the chocolate chips. You blend all these items together and then you add the chocolate chips and then you put it in a bread pan or any kind of pan, depending on the thickness that you want. But I like to put it in the same pan that I use for banana bread. You let it sit overnight in the fridge and then they're ready to go. So they kind of keep their shape because the sticky rice holds them together. And then um, it's not that's why it's not really necessary to put them in the foil. That's for convenience. Um, and otherwise you can just put them in, um, a glass jar 
Um, we still have some plastic containers before we went zero waste, so we use those until they break, and then we're trying to replace them with more sustainable items because I think it's kind of silly to throw things away just to get bamboo and stainless steel when they're perfectly good until they go to waste. I know other people don't agree with that. Anyway, so we put them in containers um, instead of foil, and then I've been eating them that way. So, so this is a $45 cheaper way to make energy bars than what we were previously doing. Also because of the yummy chocolate chips, we also have a way to satisfy our sweet tooth. Thanks so much. Let me know what you think in the comments. Less Waste Kentucky Home.